Hi, boys and girls. Happy Thursday. We're going to keep learning about the executive branch, and we're going to go on a virtual tour of the White House today. So you're going to start by clicking this website, and then you're going to click on Start the Tour. All right. I'm going to go through a couple different things within this page, but um, every question that's in your Google form will be answered through different links on here or through reading underneath the quick facts. So I'm going to read through the introduction and the quick facts and I'm going to show you a couple of the links. So although the White House is one of the most famous buildings in the world and hosts millions of visitors every year, people will people have few people have a good understanding of its layout and history. The building was originally referred to as the Presidential Palace or Presidential Mansion. Dolly Madison called it the President's Castle. However, by 1811, the first evidence of the public calling it the White House emerged because of its white painted stone exterior. The name Executive Mansion was often used in official context until President Theodore Roosevelt established the formal name by having the White House engraved in his stationery in 1901. So some quick facts. It sits at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue in Washington. It's the capital of the United States and it's in the District of Columbia. A federal district carving out of neighboring Maryland and Virginia. So they actually have its own little district that the White House is in, and it's called the District of Columbia. Um, the White House houses the president's family as well as offices for their top staff, although today many more White House staff members work in a different building, which is called the Eisenhower Executive Office Building. Uh, the person in charge of keeping the house running smoothly is the chief usher, and there's over 90 people that work to assist him. There's housekeepers, chefs, maids, butlers, carpenters, plumbers, gardeners, and engineers. It is 170 feet wide by 85 feet deep and 8, 58 feet high. The White House hosts about 5,000 visitors a day and close to 2 million a year. So other facts in here, it's got a couple different wings. So you might hear it referred to the East Wing or the West Wing. Those are different parts of the White House. It has four stories. It's 55,000 square feet, 132 rooms, 35 bathrooms. Um, some more statistics about doors, windows, fireplaces, stairways, elevators. It's got lots of gardens. It's got a tennis court, a basketball court, a putting green, a bowling alley, a movie theater, a jogging track, and a swimming pool. So it's a pretty nice place to live. Um, so you can click all over this page. There's links everywhere to different places, different um, sections of the White House. So if you want to see the Oval Office, you can click that. Shows you some information about it. Um, tells you that it's the office of the president, where the president works, where they talk to, you know, different heads of state, diplomats, staff, they have meetings in there. And then just press the back page to go click something else. So if you want to see the bowling alley, there's some pictures of the bowling alley. That's President Bush. So um, click through the different links. And let's see what questions we've got. So you're going to answer how many rooms the White House has, uh, whose office is the Oval Office. The Lincoln bedroom is named that because it is where Abraham Lincoln slept. So the Lincoln bedroom is right here. True or false, there's a bowling alley in the White House. Number five, what color are the walls and furniture in the movie theater? So you've got to click on the movie theater link and check out the pictures. Which president installed the swimming pool? Again, click on swimming pool. What sport is played on the putting green? So click on the putting green, see what sport they're playing. Number eight, how many visitors does the White House have per day? And then number nine is an opinion question. I want to know 
which part of the White House would you want to visit the most and why? Make sure you tell me why to get both points for that one. I hope you guys enjoy virtually exploring the White House, and I hope you have a great day. Goodbye, Adams.